Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you're doing well. And on today's video, I just want to share a very simple trick with you and just a very simple um, understanding of price because ultimately I like to come at the charts at a similar time every single day. I like to be at the charts for maybe half an hour while I make my decisions, um, even if I'm trading intraday, just because you know I've got other things I want to do besides trading with my day at this stage um, in my trading and in my life. So, you know, I think for most people that actually find a lot of benefit from doing this themselves as well. So, if you're interested in uh, just simplifying things down, just having two simple scenarios that you can look for, then I highly recommend sticking around to the end of this video. It will not be long. And if you are new here, I'd appreciate you subscribing. And if you do enjoy the video and you want to see more videos like this, I'd appreciate you liking the video. Also, if you want to take your trade to the next level, highly recommend going and checking out the links in the description box below. But without further ado, let's get into it. So what do I do? So essentially, when I come to the charts in the mornings around 10.45 or 10.30, I will simply look for one of two scenarios, okay? Because mainly, if you know me well, you know I mainly trade in New York, okay? Hence why I come around 11, about an hour before New York, because that tends to give me all the information of what New York is going to do, okay? So essentially, there are two scenarios. Scenario number one, scenario number two, Okay, this is just for the bullish example. Okay, obviously it'd be the reverse for sales. But essentially, price is either going to be between two horizontal levels or it's going to be completed. It's going to be at a horizontal level, horizontal level. In this scenario, understanding that these levels act as magnets, okay, and I'll talk about levels in, in another video, okay? But these levels act as magnets, price will be more likely to be pulled up here. And so New York, in this case, is more likely to be a continuation. Whereas over here, price is more likely to print a reversal slash deeper retrace, not necessarily a 5 million pip reversal, just a deeper retrace intraday, 20, 30 pips. What more do you need? Okay. Very, very simple. Okay. And so when I come to the charts, simply, I just need to analyze which one of these I'm looking at. Even if we didn't have levels in, another way that you can do this is just simply look, is price overextended or is it retracing? Okay. Because Whichever one of those two scenarios, whichever one you think is more probable, is going to give you a huge, huge, huge amount of information. Now, let me show you an example. Okay. So let's look at this time, 11 a.m. right here. So if we were to go back here. Oh, I don't know what on earth has happened there. Uh, okay. That was a bit weird. Let's try it again. Hope for the best. There we go. So at this point in time, if we're looking at the charts, you know, all of London so far, we've had Asia bullish, London bullish. Okay. Is it very likely that price is going to just continue going up like this? No, of course it's not. So regardless of whether you've got a level marked on your chart here and based on the time of day that this is, it's more than likely that price is going to start retracing. Okay. Where's the highest probability place it will retrace to? Around these levels. Next highest probability place, probably around here. And then the overall place to grab all of the kind of orders below here would be eventually here. So when we cut down to our lower time frame and we have evidence that price is potentially doing this, seen by this level being broken, this level being broken, we're now coming up again. This could potentially be an entry for us. Stops above the level or stops above the high. Target one, target two, target three. So let's just leave target three in this example just so that we can see the potential of this. Blah, 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 blah. Obviously, it won't always hit um, all three targets as it is done here, but you know, it's just to show you how this could potentially work. Now, let's look on the 30 minute again as we were originally. And let's look at price right here. So where are we? 11. Okay, so this is another interesting example. Before this line, what had the day been? They've been pretty bearish, bearish Asia, bearish London. Okay, now regardless of whether you've got a level marked on here, a Magic 8 level, whatever you've got, okay, look at what price does. Price is overextended, it continues. When you begin combining this with impulsive ranges and stuff like this, all things I talk about in other videos and extensively in the PsychFX Academy, it becomes very, very simple spotting high quality setups. We have impulsive leg on the previous day. We now see a very bearish day all of the day. It took out this previous first retrace over here and then it comes back and then it continues going up. Okay. Very, 
very simply done. But by having a specific time of day that you come to the charts, it gives you that flexibility. It gives you an idea of what you will be looking for. So in this example, we have a consolidatory Asia. We have a move lower in London followed by a move up. So it's kind of been a, um, a null and void London because it hasn't been trending in London, which is always what we're ideally looking for. So more likely this is going to be a um, manipulation of lows before heading higher, which we did see here. Now, if you're not advanced enough, you'd probably just look at this and be like, yeah, okay. Or at least if you were you know, experienced enough, you'd be like, look, that's okay. I'm just probably not going to trade this. Okay. And this is without using any horizontal levels. When you begin adding horizontal levels, particularly on my favorite time frame, the four hour for this sort of stuff, and you begin looking at where price is reacting. That is when you start adding ridiculous confluence to what you're doing. OK, this is where you really begin to identify exactly what is happening and why. OK, it's so simple. Come to the charts. You overextended. Where are you within the range? That's the only two things you really need to know if you're just going for a you know small amount of pips. In this example, we've had a consolidatory day so far. Where are we within the price range? We're still fairly low. We've still had all of this thing that hasn't been uh, moved back up yet. So what's more likely to happen around this time? More likely to go up. Simple. It's like literally simple. Okay. So the main takeaway from this is don't overcomplicate things. Always link it back to the three-step process, directional bias, area of interest, and number three, the entry trigger, okay? Literally, if you can do these things well, you will be in a very, very nice position. And it's really as simple as that, you know? And following on, the two main questions you ask yourself at around 11 a.m. GMT or a little later or a little earlier, whatever, okay, is... In the price range okay so if you don't know much about price ranges you want to learn more about that i've got loads of other videos entitled um institutional price ranges i highly recommend you go and check those out after this video okay so where are we within the price range okay number one and are we retracing or over extended okay pretty much it okay those are the only two main things that you really need to identify. And then if you want to add another one in, are we or have we bounced off a horizontal? Okay, so horizontal, horizontal can be any level, retest level, high, low, you know, supply and demand, whatever you want. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, the most important thing is consistency and using the same levels every single time so that you're being systematic with how you're executing on your trading plan so that you can expect systematic results. Doesn't mean you're going to win every time. Um, but if you backtest and you, you know, prepare yourself with past data first, you'll put yourself in a very, very strong position. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Nice and simple. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I'd appreciate you leaving a like on the video and consider, I can't get my words out. Consider subscribing for more. And until next time, guys, happy trading. And I'll see you very, very soon.